welcome back to the reality guys i'm your host billy blinks joined as always by my co-host brian hello and waleed what's up guys we're back to talk one of our favorite new shows of the year this is claim to fame on abc this is week seven episode seven we said spot the difference brian (laughs) Yep. Spot the difference. That was obviously a reference to the challenge, which was basically a old I spy picture or a photo hunt game where you had to look at the differences of the two rooms, you know, 10 minutes apart when they replaced 12 of the items had to go in. It was a team game, which was interesting because there was no more immunity. Um, but you did have some other perks as in getting to pick the two people that were up for voting to be the picker. And then you also got to share in a clue overall, again, really enjoying the show. I like the strategy involved. I like how there are some teams here. Um, I like how there was lying. I always love when there's lying. I'm sorry, but in these shows, like when there's some good lying going on, I really appreciate it. So overall, really positive for me. We'll get into the eliminated uh, c- contestant here in a minute. We'll get to those oh, thoughts. But yeah. uh, Bri, thoughts on the episode? I really liked it. It really gave me like, remember the old I Spy books? It's a, as a yep, kid, it's a little I little legend. love those books as a kid. Um, I thought that was a really cool challenge. Like it was unique. Like just being able to, and I like how they could just all do the run and then like, I wish we saw a little more of it and like what they were doing, but they obviously got to montage it. Um, I really enjoyed, like you said, build the lying. Like I thought this episode especially was really like good gameplay for a TV show of this caliber. Mm-hmm. Wally. Yeah. I felt the same way. It was a really good, really good challenge, especially for, you know, teamwork um, purposes and things like that. Um, some of the clues and stuff were obvious, and like you could tell who they relate to in the house. Now that you only have six yeah. people, it's kind of uh, kind of easy to pinpoint exactly who these clues belong to now. Now that there's not, you know, they basically cut it in half from the start of the show. Um, so yeah, it, it, it was really interesting, and like you said, I mean, the it was a really good lie, and they played it, and they played that lie on you know one of the better players in the game, and they played her like a fiddle. To be honest, I mean, by the end of the episode. I mean, it, it seemed like it was written. You knew exactly what was going to happen. But, I mean, it was still pretty entertaining to watch it unfold. So that's where I stand with it. So let's get there then. That's really the main other thing we should talk about this episode. Uh, Amara. Amara was the eliminated player. Amara. Gang, gang. Was... Uh, gorilla. <laughs> Yeah, she's such a she's see me like, outside. <laughs> we outside. I love it. That was I was laughing with her. Yeah. She's like, I don't I don't F with most of you. And then poor Pepper was like <laughs> and she's like, like no, with her like and even then Luis is like, You're not gonna say goodbye to Pepper. Like they didn't even care about himself. And there's like bye Pepper. Like I mean, she went out with no grace at all. And I was no, like, I thought she looked out like an asshole. Yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, but like, you know what? Honestly, it tells me because to be to tell you the truth, I mean, most of these players, they're related to celebrities that, you know, that I have nothing against or I have no care for. But like Whoopi Goldberg never liked her in my whole life. I'm not going to get into the reasons why. But in my opinion, she's like one of Hollywood's worst elitists. I won't get yeah. into the reasons why, but I just never liked I do her. like Sister Act, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She had some good entertaining movies. She was in some good ones, but I never liked Whoopi Goldberg as a person. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame you. I'm not going to go into reasons why, because they could be controversial. But like, <laughs> one of the most elitist personalities in Hollywood that I just can't stand. And Amara is like a spitting image of her when she talks like that i'm like okay that's all whoopee you can tell she it's like get her out of this house i'm happy <laughs> i mean i don't care i got no love lost for whoopee i just like the cut yeah. the, the movie right so yeah. uh, they did take pepper's clue so it's obviously she's a rat pack member um we're just not sure which one i think it's going to end up being dean martin yeah, it's definitely like, dean martin yeah so mm-hmm. That's going to be interesting to see. I'm looking forward to that, seeing her kind of mystery be unfolded. Logan's still doing well. No one has any idea about him. Lark's still doing well. People going after her fake identity. Same thing with LC. Nothing yeah. to go with LC. Um, they got to get Louise out of the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we've been saying, I was telling Wally before oh, we got on, like, <laughs> she's like winning challenges. Like it's backfiring majorly. Yeah, I mean, Crazy. She's, <laughs> she's, she's just like, been coasting i've never seen someone coast on a game show like this in all my life and, she, and she's like generally surprised when she wins a challenge it's not like she's trying but she's like i won and it's just like 
Oh my no. god. Four yeah. times. I mean, God, it's like Simone Biles. It's like I see Simone saying it. That's how well, they know it's her, but they messed around. <laughs> and it, it, I just want to see another week where they mess around again next week. So they should just fly Simone Biles in to pretend to be her for a day and see. And, if you, and you believe it. Yeah, it's literally her. <laughs> a great show. Uh, it's got more strategy than a lot of other things we're seeing right now. It's got great gameplay. We're seeing what we like to call refer to as camp life going on. So really looking forward to it. I definitely think we're going to get a season two. It seems like there's been a lot of um, good reception on social media and a lot of engagement. So I'm really looking forward to see that improve and improve. And, um, you know, like I said, love claim the fame. Make sure you're hitting the like and notification button for everything we have going on. We're covering the Bachelorette on ABC. We're also covering Jersey Shore and Buckhead Shore. We're covering the final week of Love Island USA. Uh, we just finished covering the rehearsal. We uh, f- covered F Boy Island season two from HBO Max, but we've been doing a lot of interviews with the cast since. A lot of them are really fun, not just things about that show specifically, just reality TV and meeting some cool people. So check those out as well. Survivor and Amazing Race will be coming back in September as well with uh, Bachelor in Paradise. So a lot of awesome things for you to guys to see, a lot of things for us to cover, as well as some retro reviews. Uh, we're going to do some things like Jersey Shore and The Mole and a couple of things because, uh, you know, we just want to get some retro historian content. Uh, but from until then, for myself, Brian, Waleed, thank you. Peace. Gang, gang. Bang gang. Bang gang. <laughs>